Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to another episode of my personal opinion on something within the fashion world. So today it's all going to be about Gosha Rubczynski. Gosha is kind of on off. If you don't know about Gosha, Gosha is He's never really studied fashion in a sense. It's always been like photography, you know, following the Russian skater youth and how life is in Moscow, Russia as a, a youth skater, I guess. So Gosha started already in early 2007 or 2008, just by designing his own stuff with his friends and giving it to his close friends who were skaters. He took photos of them and did shows, but he never actually intended to sell it to anyone. And that happened for a couple of years. And then he met with the director of Comme des Garçons, Adrian Joff. So essentially, Gosha is designing the clothes, but he's not in charge of production or anything. That's all in the hands of Comme des Garçons, who then sell it to Dover Street Market and different retailers and stores and everything worldwide. But just to give you some quick numbers, so it was last, last year it was roughly 50,000, and then it's projected to be 100,000 pieces this year, which is pretty crazy it's very like it's it just went through the roof but let's forget about all that and get to the stuff I like so the main thing I like about Gosha is that he's taken his own group he's taken like his own idea of a Russian skater and he's kind of projected onto the fashion world these days you see a lot of people with on my age with like shaved heads, skin heads, wearing a lot of skater clothes. Like, I think Gosh has been a massive part of, of creating the whole skinhead hype, really pushing the skater aesthetic. He's a good example of finding a small group, building an idea around it, and essentially building a business on it. Because Gosh is doing absolutely amazing. He's selling more than ever, and he's definitely influencing the fashion world as it is now. Second of all is Gosha is a good entry brand to get into be like higher fashion or in a way to kind of merge fashion and streetwear. Gosha's t-shirts and everything, although they come at a price point, it's really not that bad compared to like high-end brands. He's mingling with the streetwear world and also in the higher fashion. I love to see when you when you mix streetwear with like high-end stuff. And lastly, I think like Gosha makes some really nice pieces. There are a few pieces which really stands out for me. Jackets, especially. Collaborations he's done with Camper. Stuff like workwear. His work pants he's done and his, his fake fur jacket. Those are all really nice pieces which I think stand out really nicely. And he's using good colors. Throughout the seasons he's used a lot of red, which is a great color if you can pull it off. He's tried mingling in some green in there, like a, a pale green. And also pink. Usually if you think of a a Russian skater, I'd say it's very, very like hardcore and really, really into it. So mixing that hardcore with softer colors gives it a really nice contrast and overall nice aesthetic. So the stuff I don't like about Gosha is that because it's caught on so quickly and it's only been maybe two, two and a half years and it's, it's literally grown from going into sale to just selling out in two days. And obviously, more and more people start to wear it and you see more and more people in it. For every peep, for every guy or girl you see in a Gosha piece, it kind of loses value for me. Suddenly everyone's got it and it's hyper influctuated. It was like seeing Yeezys when they first came out. They're all like, oh, wow, a pair of Yeezys. Like, you wouldn't see it that often. But now it's just, it's just another pair of Yeezys, just another Gosha t-shirt, just another Gosha cap. And it's a bit sad that the brand has come to that point. Second thing I'm not a massive fan of is, it's kind of hypocritical for me to say, but using other logos and kind of claiming in on it. We saw it first time in Autumn Winter 2012, I think, where he made the Pack Bet t-shirt in the Thrasher style, Thrasher font. One year ago now, when he made the like Tommy Hilfiger t-shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies, which were incredibly popular and sells now for like 300 quid. And then in his most recent collection, which is the season spring summer 17, where he uses stuff like Fila, Sagittacini, Reebok and Kappa. It's not very experimental. Like he's literally just stealing a logo and then slapping his name under it. And I'm not a massive fan of that. The last thing really is 
I'm not a massive fan of the whole tracksuit culture and hoodies and tracksuits. Tracksuit street ghetto vibe. I never really wear tracksuit bottoms. I don't find them very appealing and the form is a bit off for me personally. The braces he made, it's just not my vibe. I've got mad respect for the people who rock it really nicely. The people who look like the, the Russian chap. While it's not really my style, it definitely suits other people. You can have any kind of style. You've got the Russian chaps, the high end, you've got the Y3, Yoshi Ninja. There are space for everyone, but Gosha is not my style and that's why I probably won't be buying any of it anytime soon. You should never be forced to wear anything and for me Gosha is kind of the pet hate style. Just to summarize the whole thing, I love Gosha's vision and the whole portraying the Russian skater and really bringing it into fashion. He's doing a great job, he's making loads of money for Comte de Song and himself. He's getting publicity. You know, he has succeeded and he's doing really well. The only thing is, I don't really like the style. I'm not a massive fan of the Russian chav. It's a bit too tracksuit, a bit too much branding for me. So in conclusion, I'll be giving Gosha six skinhead models out of 10. And that's simply because I don't hate it. There are a few pieces which really drags up the score for me, but I wouldn't find myself buying it anytime soon. Boys and girls, that was my personal opinion on Gosha. Let me know what you guys think about Gosha. Do you love it? Are you one of the skinhead Russian chaps? I mean, I used to have a skinhead and I see the attraction. I'm glad I'm growing my hair now. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Drop me a comment down below with what you think about Gosha. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And remember to press the subscribe button. Thank you very much, guys.